Yeah. And, um, you know, USC is one of the top schools, so definitely not a short accomplishment, something that um, definitely is really inspiring for anybody that feels like if I'm not a top recruit, uh, if you work hard and stay dedicated, you got to fight for your own opportunities. And that's really the, the greater lesson that you can learn from the story. I was just going to add a little sprinkle of, I think we are the only people that really know our potential. Mm-hmm. And you can have coaches that may, might say, oh, you you're not good enough to be on this team or you could never be this or your vertical could never be this. But I think we are the only people that really know um, if, if that's the case or not. And I, I, I knew I couldn't have a vertical that was good enough to play at USC, but I knew I could be a good enough defender to play there. So I just think you're going to have a lot of people when you're younger telling you what you can and cannot do as an athlete. Um, but the most important thing is being the only person that sort of sets those limits. Wow. So true. And, you know, to add on to that, it's, you know, for me, I've been told my whole life that I'm too short to be a hitter, can't play in college, whatever, whatever. And I, I mean, I am short relative to men's well, but I'm only 5'10". Um, but I just had this burning fire inside of me that I just want to hit. I'm going to figure out whatever way I can, and I'm going to hit. I don't care how tall you are. And actually, the taller the blocks were, the more motivated I was to prove them wrong and to, to break fingers. So to me, it was just something that I fed off. But truly, you, I always tell um, the people that I coach, especially the girls at my girls' high school team, that um, you can only accomplish what you believe. And if you don't believe you can do it, then you're not going to do it. So let's move on to your There's. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. God, I'm sorry. I can keep talking about this all day long. It's like my favorite topic. You keep going. <laughs> no, that's and- it's uh, I was just going to say there's there's a quote and I'm, I'll actually tell a story. I don't know if I ever I think I told this story once in one of my videos, but you'd have to really be watching. I said something about how I was running sprints in preseason during during training against a girl who I was battling for a starting spot with. And the whole the whole week I was thinking, oh, she's got me like it's, it's I, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. And I wasn't playing well. And I was just giving it to her. And then we were doing sprints one day. And I know sprints aren't volleyball, but right before that race, I was like, if I can beat her in this sprint right now, I can beat her in volleyball. And so I just gave my all in that sprint. I beat her in the sprint. And I went to the locker room and I and I wrote down that quote that said, if you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. Mm-hmm. And so for me, that was like, hey, if I believe I can do it, I can do it. Um, so it's very powerful having that inner belief. That's a great story. Um, so is that, that quote that you, is that your own quote? No. Um, I believe that's a famous sports quote. If you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. And it, it, I never really resonated for me until that moment where I was like this, I'm going to make this sprint mean everything. And if I can beat her in this sprint, I can do it. And, um, I wrote it down on, uh, athletic tape because I was in my locker room and I, and I stuck the tape on my mirror because I didn't have like a paper. Um, and I had it up there until for the next three years. Damn, that's awesome. And, you know, I, I think that's why I vibe with so much with your channel is it's you have such a strong underdog story about you. And, you know, that's something that we can all relate to. And, and you don't have to be short. You don't have to be slow to have an underdog mentality. But just that mindset of I am going to do it. I'm going to fight through whatever, regardless of whoever doesn't or does believe me, as long as I know myself you know, I can accomplish it. So I think that's what's so inspiring about kind of your, your brand, I guess the Victoria Garrick brand. Well, thank uh, you. Yeah. So uh, let's go, um, go on to the quick set. So it's just 10 questions and it's more of like a...